is time. Except for the light round, I'm going to turn around for the last time. Bye bye, bye, self, thrill, myself, thrill, the baby, I'm playing myself. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? Time for the lightning round. Kramers, I'm going to start with EJ in New York. EJ. Hey, Jim, how are you? I'm good. How about you, EJ? I'm good. So I'm curious your thoughts on surgery partners, ticker SGRY. Okay, that doctors. industry is in up and down and up and down right now, whether it be Humana, whether it be HCA, whether it be Docs of the Box, whether it be Walgreens, whether it be CVS. It is too hard for this guy. I'm taking a hard pass. Don't buy. Don't buy. Now we're going to Joey in Pennsylvania. Joey. Hi, James. It's Joey from Pennsylvania. Um, at this price, it's paying an 8.5% dividend and near a 52-week high. I was wondering your thoughts on ET Energy Transfer. It is still not too late to buy ET Energy Transfer. Let me throw in one oak because I'm in a charitable mood. Let's go to Barbara in New Jersey. Barbara. Hi, Jim. Greetings from the Jersey Shore. Oh, fantastic. My uh, question is on the stock Digital Ocean down quite a bit from a few years ago. I was just wondering what the scoop is on them. Wait, why is that down so much? Maybe the multiple's too high? I, I, got, I tell you the truth, I, I, I know you're down the Jersey Shore with my daughter there. That's where she lives. Um, I'm going to have to do some work on that one and come back to you. I just don't know why that stock's acting as poorly as it does, given the fact that the business is good. Let's go to John in South Carolina. John. Jim, thanks for taking my call. Uh, with a 10.5% yield and down near a 52-week low, uh, what are your thoughts on Vodafone? You know, I haven't liked Vodafone in 20 years, and it's really rewarded my, my uh, dislike. I, I actually am going to say something that monumental right here, right now. I am willing to recommend the stock of Verizon. I said it. Verizon, that's right, VC. Yeah, you can write that. Go ahead. Go write it down. I don't care. Go write it down. Go call your mother. Okay, let's go to Joe in North Carolina. Joe. <laughs> Hey, Jim. Hey, uh, first and foremost, my friend, I want to thank you and the entire Mad Money staff for all your support for the military over the years. Oh, you bet. It's a pleasure of being on your uh, uh, show back in 2018 for Veterans Day. Again, it was an honor and privilege of uh, being with you on that day. Oh, uh, thank patriot. you. Thank you. I mean, my dad, uh, somehow I know he heard that. Thank you. Hey, Jim, I, I just want to ask you about uh, a... Uh, Biotherapy stock, uh, CRISPR Therapeutics. Uh, they're out of Switzerland. Uh, most recently, they had a ther therapeutic approved for uh, sickle cell. It was first approved in the UK, then, uh, then the US. And yeah, you know, I gotta tell you, I like those guys, but I have no illusions. They're losing a lot of money, and we don't like to recommend stocks that are losing a lot of money on mad money. We always say this, which is that as long as you recognize it's speculative, you can go for it, but I do not recommend that stock on a fundamental basis. I need to go to Dave in Illinois. Dave. Dr. Kramer, I enjoyed, Carl, and your discussion with the Gronk on yesterday's Squawk on the Street. Yeah, he shrunk. I don't know. Oh, I got big. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Jim, let's talk rare earths. No, okay. I'm not talking about the American rock band from the 60s and 70s. I'm talking about a Lee Cooper, Leon Cooperman stock pick, MP Materials. Yeah, you know, Dave, I got to tell you, that stock just never lifts. It's not expensive anymore. I, the alternative energy EV thing, it's not happening, but I, I'm not against it because it is Lee's story and it's not losing money. And that, ladies and gentlemen, good of the lightning round. The lightning round is sponsored by Charles Schwab. Coming up, can the Fed be a ray of sanity among all those crazy clouds? What tomorrow's rate decision means for your money, next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.